Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to answer the question, can I monetize Pixabay videos on YouTube? I'm sure you've seen hundreds of videos at this point where people are going to tell you that you can make a million dollars on YouTube without showing your face or your voice. You can make 50,000. You can make 10,000 per week with simple videos where you don't have to show your face or your voice. $15,000 per month, $300 per month or per day with simple videos. And the method that they use is to go over to Pixabay maybe find a video of, of rain or something along those lines. You're just going to download them to your computer and then you can upload them and then the money is going to start falling from the sky. I'm sure that you've probably seen a few of those videos. That's why you're here today. What we're going to do is we're going to answer this question. We're going to get through and we're going to siphon through all of the junk that's over here that are telling you that you can just simply go and grab these videos and clips and upload them right into YouTube and people are going to hand you wads and wads of cash. So if you want to know the truth, if you want to know the real answer, if you can monetize Pixel Bay videos on YouTube, make sure you watch this entire video because I'm not only going to answer this question, I'm going to show you different ways that you can make money with Pixel Bay videos step by step and you're actually going to get real information, real knowledge to help you make money. Hello, this is startthechannel.com where we show you step-by-step -step how to start successful YouTube channels. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to learn how to start a successful YouTube channel and actually make money from it. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to take a look at Pixabay. This is one of those websites where you can download royalty-free videos, image, and even audio and you don't have to worry about copyright infringement so that's a good thing that's a positive but one of the issues that you will have to worry about is uploading the exact same content as everybody else and so we're going to talk about that before we get going with that let's talk about the youtube partner program as you know you need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to be eligible just because you're eligible doesn't guarantee that you're going to be admitted here's some things that could prevent you from being admitted into the YouTube Partner Program. And the YouTube Partner Program basically means you're going to get paid by YouTube, really AdSense, when the when someone clicks on the ads that show up before, in the middle, or at the end of your video. So let's take a look at some reasons why you would not be monetized with the YouTube Partner Program. Repetitious content. So some things that are going to violate this repetitious content are basically having the same content up over and over again with subtle differences. So content that exclusively features readings of other materials you do not originally create, like text from websites or news feeds. Songs modified to change the pitch or speed, but are otherwise identical to the original. Similar repetitive content or mindless content with low educational value, commentary, or narrative. So this is important here. Similar repetitive content or mindless content with low educational value, commentary, or narrative. And we scroll in here. Templated, mass-produced, or programmatically generated content. Image slideshows or scrolling text with minimal or no narrative, commentary, or educational value. So that's what repetitious content is considered. There's other things in there as well, but these are the overall, this is probably like that net that grabs most things. The other issue that you need to run into, and this is gonna be important, is reuse content. And here's some things that are going to prevent you from being accepted into the YouTube Partner Program with reuse content, um, contents that violate this guideline. Clips of moments from your favorite show edited together with little or no narrative, Short videos you compile from other social media websites. You can't do TikTok compilation videos, just straight TikTok compilation videos. Collections of songs from different artists. Content uploaded many times by other creators. This is going to be interesting here for what we're doing. Promotion of other people's content, even if you have permission. So can you monetize Pixel Bay videos on YouTube? The answer is it depends on how you do it. Now, if you come over here and you find clips, we're gonna type in woodworking because woodworking seems to be pretty popular. Woodworking just like this. If you just go out and you find a bunch of clips about woodworking, you download to them to your computer or your video editing software, and then you upload them into YouTube, that's not going to work. Um, another one here that is pretty popular is like the rain. People love to talk about how you can just get rain videos and, and then make money that way. If we go back over to Pixel Bay, let's see here. Let's change this to videos. So one of the biggest things that people talk about over on YouTube is you can just go and create rain videos, 
Rain sounds and make money. Make a thousand dollars per day. Let's 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 type that in. Uh, make money with rain videos. And people are telling you to do this. You're simply just going to make three thousand dollars per day or thirty thousand dollars per month with rain dance videos. And as we see here from the YouTube Partner Program, you're not adding any educational value. You're not doing anything to improve what's already out there. It probably falls under both repetitious content and reuse content. So if you're planning on just doing it this way, where you're gonna go find clips over on Pixabay and you're going to download them to your computer and then re-upload them and then hope for the best, you're not going to get monetized that way. What you can do, the way that you can get monetized is if you add voiceover. So maybe you are talking about 10 ways to carve wood better. You find over here, we're gonna look at wood carving again. We're gonna type in wood carving. And let's see if we can find, there's no videos, but let's say for example, there were a bunch of videos about wood carving and you created a video where you actually did a voiceover and you told people 10 ways that they could make money or 10 better ways to carve wood faster, you can monetize that because you are adding educational value. If you are just planning on grabbing clips from Pixabay and putting them right into YouTube, that's not gonna work in 2021 and 2022, whenever you're seeing that, that's not gonna work. You have to add some sort of narrative or some sort of value. If we look at reuse content, and this is important for Pixabay because most likely the clip that you found and you're going to upload has been found and uploaded many times before, what you can do is you can use clips for a critical review, a scene from a movie where you've rewritten the dialogue and changed the voiceover, replays of sports tournaments where you explain the, mo the moves a competitor did to succeed, reaction videos where you comment on the original video, edited footage from other creators where you add a storyline or commentary. So that's gonna be key for your Pixabay success. You want to edit footage from other creators where you add a storyline or commentary. If you want to monetize with Pixabay, you're gonna to have to do that. So let's say you wanna create a channel on um, make money online. So we just go here, we're gonna type in money. There's going to be a bunch of videos out there where people are talking about money. And so what you can do is you can go through and find videos and then you can add a voiceover, either yours or you could hire someone to do it, where you're adding educational value. You're showing them how to do something. That will work. Now, now that we have that answered, Let's talk about some other ways that you could make money with Pixel Bay videos over on YouTube. In my opinion, the best way is simply with affiliate marketing. And with affiliate marketing, you are recommending or selling other people's products and services. And there is an affiliate program out there for everyone and everything. There are affiliate programs to make money online. There's affiliate programs for basket weaving. Let's type in sewing real quick, just to show you if there's a video over on Pixel Bay, as you can see, there's a bunch of content about sewing and you could become an affiliate for sewing machines. We could go over to Amazon. This is Amazon Associates. This is the affiliate wing of amazon.com. And you can, uh, you can sign up to become an affiliate. Once you sign up, you're going to get your affiliate links. Now again, the way affiliate marketing works is you're gonna go out and find affiliate programs that are congruent or in line with your target audience. You're going to join those affiliate programs. You're going to get unique URLs called affiliate links, and you're going to place those affiliate links in the description of your YouTube videos. When people click on your description or click on the affiliate link and make a purchase, you can earn a commission. So I'm just gonna go back over here and I'm going to type in sewing machine. Let's scroll all the way up to the top. And we're gonna type in sewing machine, just like this, hit enter. And as you can see, sewing machines range anywhere between 32 and about $150. You can see this is actually a $1,500 sewing machine. What we could do is let's just estimate how much money you could make per person if you were in the sewing niche. Now this can work for anything, gaming as you saw, uh, basket weaving, wood carving, you name it, it can work. Um, so if we just did the math here, we're going to take 200 and multiply it by 3%. That's gonna be the amount that we would make from Amazon. So we would make $6 per sale on a $200 product. And so if you wanted to make $100 per day, you would just take 100, divide it by six, you would be looking at about 17 sales per day. Now that's not gonna to be too challenging once you start getting significant traffic. And while I'm using sewing as an example, let me just show you here. And I'm actually gonna use another example with these rain videos because it's pretty popular. So I just typed in sewing and the top result here, uh, 105,000 views from two weeks ago, the one below it, 22,000 views from two days ago. So there's a lot of people talking about sewing, but another 
another whole other side of YouTube. People are creating these rain sounds videos and getting millions of views. So I just typed in rain, misspelled rain, but I typed in rain sounds. You can see top result, 5,000 people are watching right now. We could come back over here to Amazon and we could look for like a rain, rain sounds. Hit enter. You can see, you could actually promote some of these products. If we look, um, let's see, if we go back here, you could promote these. That's gonna help people fall asleep because ultimately that's what they want. You would earn $24. So let's just do some back of the napkin math here. What we're going to do is we're gonna go here and we're going to take 5.3 thousand people. So 5.3, whoops. So we'll do 5,300 people. And we're gonna multiply that by 1%. The 1% are going to be buyers, people that are interested in buying the product that we're recommending. We're looking at 53 people. So remember that number, 53. If we go back over to Amazon, we can promote these products for $25. We're gonna take 25, multiply it by 3% again. That's 75 cents, 75 uh, times, whoops, 75 cents times 53 people. You're looking at $39.75 for a video that's live streaming. That doesn't take into account. You could add your affiliate link to every single video out there and make even more money. So that's just one way. Another way that you could make money is by selling your own digital product. Now, if you are getting into this rain niche, which is really competitive, you could create your own rain sounds montage, like a six hour montage, and you could sell it right on your YouTube channel for $5. Now, if you don't know how to do it, if you don't have the time to do it, you could head over to a website like Fiverr and hire someone to create a long rain dance MP3 where people can just play it you again could sell it for $5. If we come back over here and we take 53 like this and multiply it by five, we're looking at $265 off of a simple video. $265 per day, we multiply that by 365, you are looking at $96,000 from a rain dance video and it's not even monetized or potentially not monetized by the YouTube Partner Program. So that's just a few different ways. Also, depending on your niche, you could start a Teespring store. If we scroll up here, Teespring allows you to create different designs for t-shirts and iPhones and blankets and stuff. And then you can actually put a link to your Teespring store and people can buy stuff. As you can see here, there's different logos. You could put a logo or an image, or you could, I guess you could put um, just picture of rain on a t-shirt. People will buy it and you make money. Now, the cool thing with Teespring is they handle the payment processing, they handle the shipping and the printing of the, the products or the merchandise. The only downside is you need a minimum number of orders in order for them to be fulfilled. But as you can see, I listed three other ways that you could make money simply with Pixel Bay videos and you're not a part of the YouTube Partner Program. Now, if you do the Pixel Bay videos, like I mentioned, where you add a voiceover, you're adding new educational content, you could actually be monetized with the YouTube Partner Program, affiliate marketing, selling your own digital products, and selling merchandise all at the one, all at the same time, and you could be increasing the amount of money that you could make potentially. So, let's go ahead and recap. Can you make money with Pixel Bay videos on YouTube? You cannot make money. You will not be monetized if you're not improving or adding educational value, storyline, or commentary. Again, if you're just taking videos from here these sewing videos or rain or whatever it may be, and you're just trying to upload them right into YouTube with no improvements, no changes, you will not be monetized. However, you can monetize in other ways with um, affiliate marketing, selling your own digital products, selling merchandise, email marketing. There's a lot of ways that you can monetize. Guys, let me know what you think. Have you tried monetizing with Pixel Bay and you failed, you, you weren't successful? Let me know what happened. Let us know what happened. Let the community know what happened and we can try and piece it together. Have you tried affiliate marketing or other ways to make money online and you struggled with it? I'd be interested to, to hear your feedback when it comes to uh, that type of making money online. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video helped you out. And don't forget to click the first link in the description to that free YouTube channel checklist that will help you make money with your YouTube channel step-by-step. Step. Once again, this is startthechannel.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.